schedule an appointment. Horrifying allegations about stolen body parts from an Ivy League medical school. Ashley Strohmeyer takes a closer look at the investigation at Harvard. <laughs> Disturbing allegations involving the theft and sale of human body parts donated to Harvard Medical School. Cedric Lodge, the school's former morgue manager, was indicted Wednesday in federal court. The 55-year-old charged with selling various body parts he allegedly took from donated cadavers. Law enforcement also accused Lodge of letting people into the morgue so they could pick the exact pieces they wanted. His 63-year-old wife, Denise, and at least three others were also indicted in connection to the crimes. Legal documents allege Cedric Lodge stole heads, brains, skin, bones, and other remains starting back in 2018. Some parts were taken to his home in New Hampshire, where he and his wife would contact buyers across the country. Some remains were even shipped through the mail. Katrina McLean allegedly paid $600 for two dissected faces. McLean is the owner of Cat's Creepy Creations, her business, which sells, quote, creations that shock the mind and shake the soul. McLean is also accused of selling some stolen remains to other people in multiple states. She's never been in trouble before, and obviously this is very distressful. She just wants to be home with her family. Harvard University officials releasing a statement saying, quote, we are appalled to learn that something so disturbing could happen on our campus, a community dedicated to healing and serving others. And that was Ashley Strohmeyer reporting. Now, Harvard Medical School says donated cadavers are used for research and educational purposes. School officials have resources available for donor families who may be affected. Let's turn our attention now to Money Matters. The age requirement for commercial airline pilots could be raised again during a staffing shortage issue. And the FDA is 